Welcome back to another video. So I'm being really quiet right now because Shelby's still asleep. So today is day five of Vlogmas and it is six days away from Christmas. I cannot believe Christmas is basically here. So we have Kinley in the house over here. We have all the blankets up on the couch because it is actually cold here in Austin. So I cannot wait for Christmas. We are gonna be traveling down to Mississippi in just like three days. And we're gonna be spending like two weeks down with my family for the holidays. We're gonna be spending Christmas and New Year's. I cannot wait. It is gonna be a packed house at my parents' house, but I'm really looking forward to it. Brady just woke up, so I'm about to go up there and get him. It's gonna be a very busy day. It's gonna be a very festive day. Tomorrow is Shelby's birthday, so we gotta plan all that out. Shelby's wanting to do tomorrow as Christmas Eve for our family, and then we're gonna do Christmas Day on Tuesday so we can have our own Christmas before going down to Mississippi for actual Christmas Day. So for breakfast, I'm having a cup and a half of egg whites, one whole egg, and then one biscuit, and then, of course, a black coffee. Good morning, Brady. Good morning. Look, look what the elf is doing. <gasps> Come here, look, what is he doing? He getting ready for what, what is he doing? Is he getting ready for, what, the gym? Yeah. Is he gonna go work out? Yeah. He's gonna go work out? What does he have on? He's got daddy's headphones on. Yeah. He's got daddy's headphones. He's got daddy's shaker bottle. He's got daddy's weight belt. He's ready to go work out, isn't he? Yeah. All right, so now we're all ready to go to church. We got our Sunday's best on. Kinley, oh boy, this is gonna be bad because it is right in her nap time and she is not happy. Brady, you ready to go to church? Yeah. This will be your first time in church in weeks, right? Yeah. Everybody so we're honestly terrified that we're gonna go to church today and then get sick a week before Christmas because that would be absolutely horrible because the last two times we've been to church, Brady and Kinley has gotten sick. So we're praying that we do not get sick this week because this would be the absolute worst time to get sick right now. So we're back home from church and I'm about to head off to the gym here in a second. Everyone is eating some lunch. Kenley's eating some jacuterie, got some crackers, cheese, and pepperoni. Jacuterie, yeah, is it good? Yeah. Good, good, good. So today is gonna be a chest day for me. I may or may not be working out with someone today. So the owner of the gym that I go to here in Austin, she has a nephew that knows who I am and thought it was really cool that I work out at her gym. And so he's coming in town for the holidays to see her. And so she asked would I work out with him. So I said yes, but I haven't gotten in contact with him today if he's for sure coming in or not. So I'm gonna show up at the gym here when I gave him a time and we'll see if he's there or not. But it will be nice to actually work out with someone for the first time in a, uh, I don't know, months. So now I'm all ready to go to the gym, got my pre-workout by Muscle Tech, the Shatter Elite. So the guy texts me and said that he's not gonna be able to make it because something got stolen off his sister's car and they had to go get a rental car and now they're headed back to wherever he lives. So he's not gonna be able to work out, which kind of sucks because I was looking forward to working out with someone and doing chess. It's always great to have a workout partner so you can have someone to spot you. And I know I said earlier on in this video that today was day five of Vlogmas. No, it's actually day six of Vlogmas and six Six days till Christmas so now I'm gonna drink that pre-workout shake or that drink and then we're gonna head off to the gym and kill this chest workout what's up everyone welcome back to another workout so if you guys are looking for a killer chest workout this is it uh, so I started off with flat bench press I did seven sets yes seven sets of flat bench press now the reason why I did seven sets I wasn't planning on doing that many sets but flat bench press felt really good on this particular day so I just decided to do more and more sets and it turned out to be seven so the rep range was three three eight 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 
10 and 10 reps. So what I did was around three to four uh, warm-ups before hitting my heavy weight, which was 315 pounds. And that's what I did, those two sets of three reps. And then for the eight reps, I went up to 275 pounds and did those eight reps and then dropped the weight once more for the two sets of 10 reps. So what I did was just warm up to the heavy weight and then slowly uh, decrease the weight and up the reps. After that, went into incline dumbbell bench press. I did five sets of 12 reps. I did not do any kind of drop sets on here. It's just straight sets because after doing those seven sets of flat bench press, I'm telling you, you really don't need to do any drop sets because my chest was absolutely on fire. After that, went into incline dumbbell flies. I did four sets of 10 to 12 reps. Now, when I did these flies, what I'm trying to focus on here is going down, stretching my chest, and then squeezing up. Now, I'm not going all the way in because if you bring the dumbbells all the way in, you're gonna lose tension up at the top of that range of motion, so you don't wanna do that. You wanna keep constant tension the whole time. After that, went into machine flat bench press, four sets of 15 reps, and the last set did a double drop set. So this is something pretty light, and I wanted to go for more volume here instead of going really heavy that I did before with the barbell bench press. I just wanna go for more reps here, and I was only resting for around one minute in between these sets. Now, with the flat bench press, uh, the barbell bench press, I was resting for around 90 seconds in between sets because I wanted to give my muscles enough time to recover where I was able to lift really heavy weight. After that, went into pec deck flies. I did four sets of 12 to 15 reps on the last set, did a double drop set. And then onto the last exercise, it was a high to low cable flies. I did four sets, 12 to 15 reps on the last set, did a double drop set. This is actually the last workout of my Vlogmas series. I was thinking I was gonna get up a couple more videos, but I wanted to cram everything into this one video because it's really getting too far out to do any kind of Christmas vlogs. And I know you guys wanna see new stuff instead of watching old footage. So I really hope you enjoyed this Vlogmas series. I know I really enjoy having some kind of topic uh, to vlog about instead of just my day-to-day -day stuff, which a lot of you guys like watching, but I like to have a topic. But guys, I hope you enjoyed this workout. If you wanna give this workout a try, it'll be written down in the description box. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. All right, so I'm done with that workout. Now, I'm about to be Santa. So I'm gonna be doing like a commercial for Muscle Tech. They asked me to do a Santa um, kind of commercial for some supplements. So I thought of coming down the chimney. Well, I'm not gonna come down our chimney, but <laughs> come down the chimney as Santa Claus giving a bodybuilder um, some supplements. You'll see the video and I guess the next vlog or something, but it should be pretty funny. So I got this Santa suit online and I'm gonna try to see if I fit in it or not. We ordered it last minute, so I'm hoping that I can fit in this thing. So this is gonna be fun. <laughs> Fits pretty nice, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Do it look like Santa? Well, I mean, you know, a pillow in there or something. Jack Santa? Yeah. <laughs> Do I look like a great Santa? <laughs> you look like a mall Santa. Look at that butt. I look like a mall Santa. <laughs> what does that mean? I wouldn't be a good Santa. You're scary. I'm scary. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. This thing is so hot. We filmed for maybe 15 minutes. I don't see how Santas can do this. I'm about to die of a heat stroke. This is ridiculous. I'm thinking about going up there and waking up Brady in this thing. <laughs> He'd be terrified of Santa. So Kinley's up from her nap, so she's upstairs with me, helping me edit that video that I have to get up for muscle tech. So I'm doing a Santa Claus video for them, 
and check out my Christmas tree that we put up the other day. <laughs> so Christmas is like six days away and we just now put up my Christmas tree. And this is the Christmas tree that I want in our den because of the colored light. Shelby does not like colored lights. So she wanted like the clean look, the white look, but I really like the colored look because my family always had colored lights when I was growing up and stuff. So that's what I like. Kenley, say hello to my vlog. I don't think they've seen you besides maybe one time. She's in her robe to stay warm because like I was saying, it is cold here in Austin. Well, not really cold to many people, but cold for Texans because it is around 40 degrees. And Shelby's about to wake up Brady because we are going to do some gingerbread houses. We got a lot to do before Christmas is here. Well, a lot to do before we uh, go out of town to visit my family because we got a lot of stuff we wanna do here before we go out of town. And we just don't have enough time to get all that stuff done. Yeah. Woo, so me and Kinley just got done, that was pretty loud. Got done doing a dance party upstairs. We were using the surround sound upstairs and I was just dancing and actually Kinley, Kinley was just watching. She was sitting there on the couch. I kept her entertained for a very long time. Shelby and Brady are making the gingerbread, right Brady? Yeah. He just woke up, <laughs> look at that bedhead. He is having, are you having fun? Yeah. These are mini houses. Yeah. Mini gingerbread houses. I think I did a really good job. Looks really good, doesn't it? It looks great. But it looks amazing. I think I beat Shelby's. Abel, I'm trying to make dinner. Okay. Yeah, mine wins. I mine had a wins. rush. Or Brady's looks really good. Too. Brady, yours looks so good. Yeah. It's falling. It's falling? Yeah. I like doing these little gingerbread houses so much better than the big one. <laughs> so much better. Like you could decorate it in about 10 minutes. The big ones, you can spend like an hour on it and you feel like you didn't do anything. Kinley's just ready for dinner. <laughs> All right, are you ready for dinner? Oh, oh my, come on, come on, and be big. So for dinner, we're having meatloaf, turkey meatloaf with mashed potatoes. Yum, that's Kinley's portion right there. She eats as much as a toddler. She eats more than Brady, actually. Yeah, not meatloaf, she likes the carbs. So mashed potatoes, bread, anything like that, she will eat a ton of. And that's why she is a chunk. You're a little chunk, aren't you? <laughs> so Kenley's already in bed, now I'm about to take Brady to bed. So I want him to tell y'all goodnight because I'm not gonna end the video yet, but I know he's gonna die if he doesn't end the video, right? Yeah, so you're gonna fist bump, okay? Say night-night. Night-night. All right, fist bump. So now the kids are all off to bed and me and Shelby's gonna watch a Christmas movie upstairs in the movie room. We've been doing this a lot recently for the holidays, watching all the Christmas movies upstairs and Brady absolutely loves it. So we have the setup up here. We have the big screen with surround sound. We have 12 speakers in this little bitty movie room in here, 12 speakers. It was a ton. We bought it last year on Black Friday and then we also have the Christmas snacks. Christmas is a time for the off season. It's a time to get fat, that is for sure. So Shelby's birthday is in two minutes. Home Alone just ended. This is incredible timing we have. So she is gonna be 40 years old. Can you believe it? 25. You're 25, are I'm you now? 25. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Do I not look 25? Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. I don't look 40. <laughs> A few moments later. It's your birthday. <laughs> Happy 25th birthday to me. Oh my gosh. It is the 20th. Happy birthday. Thank you. Come on, Kinley. Let's go. Come on, Kinley. Come on, Kinley. Yeah. Happy birthday to you. Don't burn down the house. Happy birthday to you. Say happy birthday, mommy. Happy birthday, mommy. Thank you, sweetie. Say happy birthday, mommy. <laughs> Say she's coming. You gonna help me blow out my candle? Yeah. Okay, one, two, three. So I have clearly not vlogged all day long. It is eight o'clock and we just got done having Shelby's Christmas dinner. My Christmas dinner. Christmas dinner, birthday <laughs> dinner. <laughs> How does it feel to be old? 
25. 25, uh-huh, okay. Okay, whatever you say. So we just got back. Kids are about to go to bed actually in just a little bit because tonight is their Christmas Eve and tomorrow we're doing Christmas so that we can drive to Mississippi on Wednesday. And we're about to do Shelby's gifts and her cake. Right, Brady, you want some cake? He's been yeah. talking about cake this whole yeah. entire time. So we were planning on going out to eat at like a nicer restaurant, a burger place. <laughs> but when you have kids, that's considered a nice place right now because we can't go anywhere really nice because the kids just get too um, riled up and we don't want to ruin other people's night by having them there. And our own. And our own. But <laughs> we forgot that it's a weekday before Christmas, so the place was completely packed. So I did not get reservations because I didn't even think we were going to be going out to eat. I thought we would be going to pick up food. But we went there, and they're like, a 45-minute wait. So we left there and went to another burger place, and it was good. But it wasn't, you know, like... It was chill, and it's the way we needed it with the kids. Yes, so it was good. And I had reservations for a massage today, which was better than reservations yes, for a Yes, so I booked a massage for Shelby today so she could go have no kid time. So she had an hour of just free time while I watched the kids and stuff, so that was a lot of fun. <laughs> for me. Yeah. Happy birthday to you. Okay, help me. Come on. Birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear mommy. Happy birthday to you. And many more. That right there, my friends. Oh, yum. Is a Reese's ice cream cake. Yum. Oh, my oh. goodness. Look how delicious that thing looks. Oh, good job. One more. Come on. Great job! Yay. This cuts so nicely. <laughs> oh, looks pretty good. I think. Looks like ice cream more than anything. Where's the Reese's? Where's the peanut butter cups? That's what I want. I think they're in the ice cream. Oh yeah, they are. It's in the center. So now we're all sitting around the couch about to read the night before Christmas before these little boogers go off to bed. So Santa can come. Right, Brady? Santa gonna come? Yeah. So we all have matching pajamas. Well, they all have matching pajamas. I also have matching pajamas, but I put on the wrong ones because these are warmer and the other ones are somewhere in there. I gotta go put those on here in a second. I forgot I had matching until I put these on. We're enjoying the fire here in Austin when it's like 60 degrees. So now it's Brady's bedtime, right Brady? You gotta go to bed so Santa will come. Tell my vlog night night. Night night. Say, I'll see you guys tomorrow when Santa comes. Yeah. Yay, Kinley. Your bedtime too. Night night girl, night night. Bye. Now the dreaded part of Christmas. Putting up all the Christmas gifts, or building them actually. Can y'all guess what this is? Probably not. It is a sandbox. A dirty, stinky sandbox that all the cats in the neighborhood are gonna be coming to use it as is a this potty. Is the first that you heard of it? A potty. Is this the first you heard of it? Yes. Oh. I did not approve this. Abel, get out of here. So we have a little racetrack so far. That's the only thing built. Other than that, we're in trouble. Shelby has been stuck on this one thing for so long and I immediately look at the directions and figured it out immediately. She's trying to screw this thing in and it doesn't have like a piece in it. And I looked at it and immediately fixed it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was like, your sandbox. <laughs> this thing did not come with directions. Are you not, are, are I have not found any directions. That is ridiculous. I have no idea how I'm going to build this. Honestly, it came with nothing. It's, it's a bunch of wood. Two hours later. Just wrapped up building this sandbox. Look at the masterpiece. Oh my gosh, they better love this kitty box. So look, you can, whoa, cracking. You can close the lid on it when they get done playing outside. Look at that. And yeah. what did you do? It's supposed to close all the way. Mm. 
That's not my <laughs> fault. <laughs> we'll just leave it open. <laughs> they will never know. Oh my gosh. That took about, what, 45 minutes, you think? Yeah, maybe. An hour? Yeah, an hour. An hour. So now we're on the last thing of the night and it's the worst thing. It is wrapping off Shelby's Christmas presents. I absolutely hate it. Of course, I waited to the last minute like I always do. So now I have to sit up here and wrap the presents and stuff her stocking. Goodness. Do you see a baby doll? Gidley, what did Santa bring you? Oh, oh, oh. Santa brought you a little baby doll, Kinley. Did Santa come see you, buddy? Come on, go see. What is it? It's a big car. It's a big car. Mom. You get your own car. Yeah. Remember Santa told you he'd bring you a monster truck? Yeah. He did. Yeah. A dino. He shoots. He does. Oh! <laughs> you can do it. Whoa! Whoa! Oh my goodness. Put it in gear and you gotta push the pedal, but don't push it too hard. Whoa! Mom! Yeah! That was cool. That's really cool. <laughs> no, now go. Whoa! Kinley wants to get in. I go backwards. <laughs> Kidney. <laughs> oh, this is amazing. Gainer, do you want your stocking? <gasps> Ooh, oh, a boy. Candy cane treat for Gainer. We gotta open it for him. <laughs> Gainer's like good, about to die. Like, what did I get? Reach in there, pull <laughs> it. What did he get? What did I get? Ooh, oh. my new toy. You got a new toy, Gainer. Ooh. Candy. More candy. Where you got, Daddy? That's Mommy's. That's Mommy's. <laughs> Where's Where Kinley's? Mom, that's for Kinley. Oh, Kinley don't have one? Stop it. Stop it. Oops, sorry, Kinley. Look, she's devastated. Kinley, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> don't look at me. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what do y'all got? Open it up, Kinley. Okay. Oh, Ooh. Kinley. Just what Kinley needs. You got a, a big phone. cell phone. <laughs> Your very own camera. <gasps> you got a camera? Is what Daddy uses? Yeah. Are you going to take pictures? What yeah. is that? What is that? Is that a sandbox? Yeah. It's you good. can play in it with sand. <gasps> Get yeah, in it. That's for you to play in. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, you can play with truck trucks in it. Man, that's a big breakfast, dude. Sweets on top of sweets. Girl, you just get a biscuit and some eggs. Delicious. Is it good? Yeah. It's been a long day and still work to do. Can you give me a hug? Can you give me a hug? Yeah. Yeah.
Shelby's 40. <laughs> <laughs>